Hey guys, Sepco Soccer Pair. Today I'm going to be doing a compression test. Now this is part of the um, video series, just getting um, the bike set up and getting a baseline of everything. I've ridden the bike now for about two and a half hours. I'm going to do a compression test on it. The cool thing about this beta right here is I'm able to take the plug out, get the hose in there, and run my compression tester without even taking the tank off. So it's pretty good. So what we're going to do here is we're going to um, crank it with the start button and the throttle wide open. And that'll give us an idea. We're going to do it until the gauge stops rising. So let's see what we got. All right, so taking the throttle full open and let's crank it. All right, so we got 170. All right, let's do it again. Wide open. Another, it's about 170 right there. We'll do it one more time. All right, so we're at 170, and that's with uh, two and a half hours on the bike. All right, guys, so that's all there is to it. It's, 100 and it's about 168 is what it looks like on this gauge. Make sure if you're doing this test, you use a, a good quality um, compression gauge. This is a Mac one. Try to get a good good one so you get accurate readings all the time. Use the same gauge every time you're doing compression checks. And I'm gonna make note of this and then I will base my rebuilds on compression loss. So 178 pounds, I'm gonna wait till it loses 10 to 15% of that compression before I rebuild it. So uh, hopefully you guys this helps you out, gives you an idea what to look for on the new bike and which, if you have one of these, give you an idea what to look for. Please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell for notification guys. Until next time. It's typical soccer repair.